What's up, boys? Today we're doing Let's some tinge stage salt thoughts. We're going with the fire. demolitionist there and trying to use some of the lesser used grenades as our, or some of the lesser used explosive weapons actually as our main weapon, like the neurotoxin grenade, the incendiary grenade, or the hurricane rocket launcher. And then later on, as a utility weapon, we're trying to get the high explosive grenade or the cryo grenade combined with scanners to use those to mine out the stage and provide us with a ton of resources to pump our main weapon. Would love to get a run with the Neuro or the Incendiary and get a ton of explosion radius and lasting duration so I can just cover the screen and ground effects, something like that. I can turn damage numbers back on for a bit, but they kind of broke the game in the last run. Well, the entire graphics just bugged out and those are just making it worse. So I'm kind of just going with the first decent weapon that I find and trying to save most of my gold if I can. Uh, let's try and get some early levels on that maybe. Getting the triple grenade can be pretty helpful early game if you get some difficult elites. Oh yeah, I wouldn't mind doing the PGL either if I get some good early overclock sports. But we would really like to have some early scanners. The multi-tool is nice, and that was pretty fantastic in the last run. I guess it is a lot of reload speed if you can get some decent tags. Okay, we got the neurotoxin. Let's see, we're currently at plus 18%. And getting the second weapon goes up to 43, so I think it's probably okay already. But probably need all the weapons for it to really start being decent. Let's probably push the reload speed on that. And then I would really like to have a weapon with the lasting tag to make the pulls last longer. And of course, either the high explosive or cryo to actually mine stuff out for me. There's another pretty nice reload speed artifact that I unlocked recently that reduces your mining speed. So if you really want to push that, your base mining speed will be extremely low. here I think and we got the triple very nice nails would probably be a lot of damage here as well did a run with the plasma burst from that earlier and it that overclock alone did like over 70 million damage I think pretty nuts on some of the weapons that it's good on now Toxins actually killing the elites pretty quickly here. Huh. Let's take another reload for that. And then in the shop, I'm mainly looking for the stats that make it look really silly. Reload speed and explosion radius, and then with the neurotoxin I also have the option for lasting if I can get another weapon with that. Ooh, definitely. Legendary reload speed is it every time for me. Guess probably just the level with that. Ooh, 
incendiary. We will need to get one of the mining grenades for the last one, but I don't think I'm going to pass that one up. And I could actually get some decent overclocks on that and make that one really silly as well here. Sure. Neuro level. I think I'm gonna go all in on throwables here and mostly ignore the PGL. Elemental slash throwable based stuff. More reload. I don't think I'm going to need paint jobs on my main weapon. And also the 18s on it aren't that great, but I'll eventually give them anyways. Reload, definitely. Paint, or er, pickup radius, see what else we got. Lifetime, want a lot of that. Nothing else for gold. 58, so I can get most of this stuff. Reload is good. And then probably a neuro level. And I'm gonna try the nails, I, well. If I'm going for reload plus lifetime, then the acid clouds will stay on the ground a lot, so potency might actually be cool here. So I'm gonna try that actually. Even though nails would probably be very good on it. I'm gonna make the poison clouds on the ground very silly this time, I think. So I need to have gold for level 25 to try and get the cryo grenade or the high explosive. Also, still need to try and find some resource scanners as well to go with that. Don't really care about that one. I will take the level for the incendiary, especially if it's reload speed. Gold tips would be good later on. Would really like a resource scanner here. Gold scanner, fantastic. That's the best one because that helps with rerolls and it helps with explosion radius and reload speed and lasting duration. So that's actually the best one here. scale up the clouds they leave on the ground, so I'll go explosion radius for that as well. I might take it since that would be 15% instead. Reload. 
both of them. So I probably want the high explosive because it keeps firing when enemies aren't nearby. The cryo grenade will only fire when there are enemies close to you. So I think the high explosive is probably more consistent for mining for you. I still need another alpaca flower. out of time and there's a lot of XP on the ground down here. Uh, let's get a bit of mining speed since it could be a while before I get any on the high explosive. for that pretty quickly to actually fuel the upgrades for the rest of the build. Status effect damage would probably be decent here. Might take that for the long term. Since I am trying to make the elemental clouds very silly. Big reload speed every time. Status damage. Kind of want reload and explosion Get radius mainly. Paint job for that's pretty helpful. Let's see what else sure, there the is. We'll Another paint job and some lifetime. Good, we'll take the Everyone potency for that as well, I guess. I'm Just to try it out and see what happens since I'm I'll going for a lot one. of lifetime. Show me more. Bit of XP Hell, and then yes. probably hold the rest. Nothing else great. Let's grab, I guess, some more status damage, since that's one of the higher rarities there. Ooh, another gold scanner, that's fantastic. Big damage, don't care about the PGL anyways. TNT, nope. 
so I guess I'll take the cluster grenades and hope we get TNT on the next overclock or I'm going to be in trouble here. Potency probably would be more damage with the amount of reload speed, but damage is fine and it's funnier. Reload, we definitely need the overclock on that one. I'm gonna grab a bit more mining speed since we are pretty late on that. And if I don't get it, then mining speed's actually going to be super important then. Another neurotoxin. Sure. job on that and the overclock on that one is decent it gives you decent explosion radius and it pulls them in a bit either that or the grenades when damaged but I want to get a ton of explosion radius so that's the obvious one here let's go ahead and turn damage numbers off it's very hard to see anything over there. Reload, sure. Potency, sure. And there we get the decent explosion radius increase for it. some pickup. I guess some reload since I have some decent gold risk. now. I'll take the potency on that. Show me more. Uh, don't really care here. Surely next time will be Big reload. It's expensive, but it would be pretty helpful. I guess I'll take that. Me. Nope. Try again. And we are looking for explosion radius reload, and I guess I'll get a bit of mining of like and pickup mm, radius. What else? But not really finding any of that. Get to work. There's aliens to be killed and gold to be mined. Honestly, since I don't even have the mining on the high explosive, I think the mining speed no alone would actually pay for itself with two scanners. Probably should have just taken that every time it was available. Oh, 
Let's see, reload status. All pretty good. I'll take some reload, I think. Die for it. XP gain bonus the stat. I have seen some people do like 200 plus level runs by going all in on XP, but it might not be worth it because you're investing so much into it, you don't actually gain that much benefit from that many levels. I may as well take the reload speed on that one. I still don't know if I can do that right now. Might need those detonators to go off first. But now the shellback's kind of guarding it. potency for that, that's pretty big. Then I guess crit chance or throwable damage? Don't need that really. speed, kind of need the levels on the high explosive still, so we'll take that for now. XP scanner? That does work. Chemist is not bad, but I will definitely take that for a mining focus build. Paint job is pretty helpful there. Get me the overclock TNT. Yes, we got it. Big status damage. I think I will take that for the attempt here. Damage isn't super useful on that now. Just grab the reload for that. Yeah, Farham did, I think, level 215 without glitching. Check out his recent videos. So, I'm looking for reload and explosion radius and lasting duration. So, those are good. May as well take the grenades on damage. Reload, reload. Eh, I'll take some status damage as well. Pick up, reload. I want another go. Come on, explosion radius. Pick up some status. Uh, maybe yes. one more. Nothing that I really want there. Eh, I'll grab some XP. Here we go. You found the dreadnought. Now you just need to make it come out of hibernation by destroying the cocoons. Show them what a single ball can do.
reload speed will help that one mine, which will give me more stats in the long run, I think. Take a bit of HP since I'm still very low on survivability here, and I am a mostly damage over time build. Status damage. Oh, that mic spike. lot of gold and none of these are that great. Potency, sure. A level 6 weapon could be kind of cool. I guess we're trying it. We'll take shock vents with slowing nearby enemies. That's actually not bad. Since I'm a full status build. Could rather have the XP collection, but oh well. It does give me two status effects that I didn't have in the build, the shocking and the chilling. I'll take some more reload for that. Did I have the multi-tool? Yeah, so the tags from that should give a decent increase with that as well. So that gave me some nice reload speed on top of some extra status effects. More status damage. The boss egg is active, so I don't want to go over there. for that. I could still get the XP collection for it. I do have a lot of status damage. We need an electric grenade still. I guess you can get the electric effect on the plasma burster. You get the right overclock for that. Take the neuro. I 
that's the weapon I am trying to focus here. High explosive damage isn't really useful on him. And that was about all I could mine here before the bosses came out. It's Oh, it actually does get the lasting duration that I've been going for the grenades as well. So that's actually not terrible here. Uh, that is a cheap level. Would prefer to have a reload speed or something for those three though. See what else, what else there is. Ah, oh, I thought that was explosion radius. Nope. Can't get of this See what else there is. Reload is useful. Or I could just take a paint job for it. For no XP collection anyways, so I guess a bit of extra reload. It to See what else there is. Mm, what else? Reload. Feels like show me more. Status. Power explosion thunder. radius. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Potency is decent for that one. Surely next time we'll be better. Reload. And maybe one more reroll. Nothing great. Bit of reload. Status damage. Divers is okay. We'd still like some more scanners at stage 6, so I think I'm gonna reroll, see if we can find anything better. Nitro scanner, not bad. See if we can find something more interesting like reload speed. Ooh, explosion radius. 40 gold. Uh, I've had trouble finding the explosion radius in the shops, so that's probably better.
there's anything better. Uh, I guess durable damage is pretty good. Grab a bit more movement status, reload, reload for that to mine faster, don't really care, reload to mine faster, bit of pickup, status and lifetime, and one more, don't really, oh, a bit of reload, don't really care about the rest though. Your mission is clear. Does that have anything useful at 18? I think it mainly links to constructs. I'm gonna see if we can get something better here. Nope. Reload for that is pretty good. Good at this point. You know, I'm actually a Christmas build. Green and red on the floor everywhere. for like two seconds there. That seems to be kind of common with these really silly explosive builds. Reload for 
mining. Pick up luck. I can't get enough of this rare stuff. What else we got? Luck. Hmm, what else? Reload this. speeds. I can grab some potency for that. Nope. Explosion radius and luck. Ooh, Those are great. Bit of pickup. Lifetime. Go. Status damage. This one. Let's shake it up. Reload. And stuff. may as well have the heat back harness on that. Potency kill. for that. And one more reroll. Explosion. Nice. Potency. <laughs> and I don't really care. You have your objectives. Get it done, miner. Funny because the ground is also lighting up like a Christmas tree. statusy build so let's do a couple rerolls see if there's anything really cool like the encapulator should be pretty good with five different weapons here we're at 173 brings me up to 240 not bad in fact for pure damage here that might actually be best in slot since reload speed and global damage are both fantastic for a dot build Do want a lot of overclocks for that, right? Though, yeah. So I do want paint jobs for the PGL and shock vents now, if I can find them. It's Lifetime. Gonna roll the dice on this one. Reload speed. Like Those this. are cheap levels, this so works. I guess I'll this? take some greens for it. Status this damage. One. Don't need I'm those. Shock vents, paint job. Like Status. Now. Reload Best for that one. one. Surely next time will be better. Uh, potency is pretty good for that. Let's shake it up. Nah. Let me try again. Reload Bingo. there and there. More options. Reload This'll and potency. Do. And one I'm more reroll. Reload speed. Reload. A uh, little Just bit more pickup.
give me an overclock there. And that's decent value with the artifacts. More explosion radius for that one. that but I just don't like that artifact. Some reload speed there is decent. Try and get another overclock on that. I can still get some decent paint jobs in the last shop here. Damage numbers, status effect 540%, 131% global damage, and 360% global reload speed. And then the incendiary and neuro are the main weapons here. Over 1200% reload speed there, a bit of potency. Over 1000% reload speed there with some better potency. So, paint job, status damage, potency for that, reload speed, status damage, reload for that, status, reload, uh, that would be a waste. Mm, I don't think I need reload on that now, final level. I guess I might finish that off if I get one later on, reload is great. I'm just going to grab potency for that. Global damage, lifetime reload, and one more reroll. Even more luck. Look at that mining speed, minus 18%. High explosive grenade, fine, I'll do it myself. stuff is dying fast enough that I might be able to have damage numbers on here. The issue comes when they're alive for a really long time, but my damage is high enough, it might not even be that bad.
to more lifetime. Oh yeah, I'm going to mine out a bunch more and then see if we can get pickled nitro there, I guess. I won't be able to get enough to go negative, so maybe not. Tipped is pretty good. That's 154 up to 379 percent. Should be some massive status damage here. Actually, let's just tr focus only the melee one and see how long it takes the other one to die. Painting the map green and red at the same time. Massive status damage at reload speed. A couple people said that they were able to exit it while moonwalking. I haven't gotten around to testing that yet. Since I'll probably have to throw a couple runs to even see what happens. So 379% damage, 380% global reload, plus a bunch of throwable on top of that, 634% status effect damage, and then we have a bunch of throwable and explosive stats on top of that, going all in on the potency and lots of grenades. Same for that, with some extra explosion radius there. And then the shock fence was actually pretty good combined with Turbo and Gabulator for even more global damage and reload speed. Kind of cool little combo there. I just scanner came a bit late, but still some extra overclock. Got the gold scanners pretty early and one XP scanner. So let's see. 13. So 40 million acid damage for the neurotoxin. Incendiary is the only fire, so 90 million burn damage for that one. Shock fence had 1 million electric, but that came pretty late and didn't really have that many upgrades for it. A lot more throwable stuff for those two. That is some chunky burn damage. Not bad acid either. 